The overall goal of this procedure is to ensure complete spinal cord transection in the larval zebrafish via a relatively high throughput and reproducible method while maximizing survival. This is accomplished by first mating adults of the appropriate genotype and screening as necessary. The second step is to raise embryos until five days post-fertilization. Next, perform the transection with a beveled microinjection pipette. Finally, the injured fish are permitted to recover in antibiotic-treated media until the end of the experiment. Ultimately, immunofluorescence microscopy is used to show neural progenitor response to injury. The main advantages of this technique over existing methods like those pioneered by the Becker and Fecho labs include a larger number of animals to study, a shorter recovery time, and the use of genetic tools not otherwise available in the adult zebrafish. This method can help answer key questions in the regeneration field, such as the neural progenitor response to injury. Begin the preparations by making surgery plates using 60 mm Petri dishes and a Silgard 184 silicone elastomer kit following the manufacturer's instructions. Fill the dishes no more than half full and allow them to polymerize. Then store the dishes covered at room temperature. Next, fabricate micropipettes by heating and pulling thin wall borosilicate capillary tubing in a micropipette puller using the same settings used for making microinjection needles. Under a dissection microscope, use forceps to snap off the tip of the micropipette to approximately 200 microns in diameter. Then bevel the broken edge with a micro grinder initially to 35 degrees, followed by a second beveling at 25 degrees.